thank you for purchasing a DF1700 Olympic Bench by Deltec Fitness. Your DF1700 will be shipped out in two boxes. The first box will contain a backrest, two D weight holders, instructions and decals, and two B cross members. The second box will contain a box containing a hardware pack, four F flanges, a C mainframe, and two E weight frame posts. There are two different sized M12 bolts in the pack. The first step will be to separate the four slightly shorter M12 bolts from the eight longer ones. If you hold them together, you can tell the difference. Lay the two weight frame posts on the ground and line up the cross members with the holes on the side of the posts. You will need the eight long M12 bolts, the flanges, and the M12 washers and nuts to bolt these pieces together. First slide a washer onto the long M12 bolt, then slide the bolt through the flange, then through the outside of the weight post. Slide the cross member flange over the bolt, then finish it off with a washer and a nut hand tight for now. Start by bolting both cross members to one side, then move on to the other. Do not tighten these bolts with a wrench this time. Once all eight bolts are in, stand the frame assembly up. The side with the pull pins will become the back of the bench. Next, grab the main frame and the four shorter M12 bolts, washers, and nuts. Thread the bolt through a washer, then through the cross member, and slide the main frame flanges onto the bolt. Finish it off with a washer and a nut hand tight, then move on to the next. The reason we haven't tightened anything yet is to allow for some wiggle room during this step. You might have to lift up or push down on the cross members to get the bolts to come through. Making sure your bench is in the place it will be used, go ahead and tighten the lock nuts with some 19mm wrenches or a socket set. Our lock nuts have a nylon insert inside to keep the nut from backing off after it has been tightened. You will have to tighten the bolt with two wrenches through the nylon insert to get it all the way tight. No two floors are the same, so if you tighten the bench and then move it, the bench may wobble or be unstable. So make sure to tighten the bench where it will be used, that way it will conform to the floor it will sit on. With the frame tight, it's time to grab the D weight holders. Slide the weight holder into the tube and then unscrew the tighten down knob until the weight holder drops into place. Pull the pull pin and push the weight holder further into the tube until it locks, then tighten the knob to take any play out of the holder. You will have to untighten the tighten down knob to adjust the height later down the road. With both weight holders in place, it's time to install the backrest. The backrest has six T-nuts installed into the plywood bottom. The pattern of the six nuts is offset two inches from the middle, meaning there's a front and a back. Line up the holes of the front flange with the T-nuts and observe the position of the edge of the pad. The pad in the correct position should be slightly longer than the main frame. The longer side of the pad will end up being the head portion. Once you have the pad in position, grab the six short M10 bolts and their washers. Slip a washer over the bolt, then get the bolts started. Don't go more than a couple turns in at this time until you have all six bolts installed. If you snug or tighten any bolt, even by hand, it could cause you problems getting the other bolts started. Once all six bolts are started, run them in by hand, then snug them down with a 17mm wrench. Remember not to over tighten because the T-nuts are just installed in plywood. Finally, install your Deltec Fitness decals, model number, and warning labels. The DF1700 is an overbuilt tank you could park a car on. Its simple heavy duty construction makes it an absolute workhorse and it should offer you a lifetime of stable, problem-free lifting. Thank you for choosing Deltec Fitness.